Hello and welcome. Welcome to uh, another session uh, on WizIQ and how to uh, start teaching online. My name is Nellie Deutsch and I'm passionate about teaching online. I also teach in a regular school. I teach uh, at a high school and at a college. So I have the face-to-face -face element in my life. And I find that the blended or um, the additional online component makes it perfect because uh, there are so many limitations to teaching in a face-to-face -face class and teaching online just makes it so much easier. So if you were here for the uh, previous session, um, I'm not going to repeat myself, but you may have some questions about um, teaching online. I, um, I want to introduce you to a free membership. If you're a teacher at a school, you're invited to um, join. And uh, the link, I'll just add it to the chat box. Okay, here it is. It's www.wiz.com iq.com at academic. All right, take advantage. And I also mentioned in the other session that WizIQ provides support. So uh, ask questions, make suggestions. They get paid for it, so why not? All right, so if you were in the other session, I think David was here. I talked about creating or scheduling a live online class. But you can't really schedule a live online class unless you have a course uh, attached to it. So we're going to go through the uh, courses and how to create a course. This class is a workshop. You're going to be working. So uh, I hope I don't have to talk too much and uh, you'll be the ones doing the work. Before we get started, are there any questions about anything that you'd like uh, to ask something that's been on your mind? And uh, so just go ahead, feel free to use the chat box. We don't have a chat box in the classroom. We can't let our student chat. I had a class today and I came out of that class so frustrated because I wouldn't allow my students to talk. I don't know how they felt, but I was frustrated. And the reason I couldn't let them talk, and they wanted to talk all at once. All 20 of them wanted to say something at the same time, but different things, of course. And I couldn't let them. Imagine if I could, if we were online, or if they had a, uh, bring you your own device, if they had a, laptop or a tablet or something they could be chatting with me and with each other and if they had a whiteboard we could be you know working together on the whiteboard so i was very frustrated i need the online element to work with my face-to-face -face students all right so um, let's get started with what we're going to be doing I don't have too many slides, as I said, you're going to be doing the work. I added a uh, Google Drive, okay, I'm going to add it again, Google Drive document. Okay, so here it is. We're going to be uh, going there and working on that. How many of you uh, have courses on WizIQ? If you can give me a thumbs up. If you've got a course, thumbs down. If you don't, thumbs up and down if you're not sure what I'm talking about. <laughs> Just use the chat. All right. So hello, Jason R. Levine. Welcome. What an honor. Fabiana. All right. So Fabiana is going to start today. Let's see. Uh, Okay, anyone else? Uh, Abigail, you're going to start today. I just made friends with you on Facebook, I think. <laughs> Good to see your name here. Okay, so you're going to do it as well. As I said before, I never forget a name. So, um, 
Sharon, you know Sharon. All right, so Sharon, not Abigail. All right. Hello, Davey from Australia. How are you? All right, Davey, today is your lucky day because you're going to start your course. So, Davey, I'm not sure um, whether you've got a course here or not, but you're going to start one now. Olga, you too. Let's see who else is here. Uh, okay, so John, I called you Davey. Sorry about that, John. I bet other people do that too. So I know, John, that you've got a Moodle, right? You've got some Moodle courses. All right. We all have two names, at least, right? Okay, so you're going to create a course because, um, as I said, teaching online is a way to learn, to grow, and hopefully make a living. How many of you would like to make a living or, you know, make money? Uh, teaching online okay give me a thumbs up if this interests you if it doesn't interest you you can give me a thumbs down not everybody's interested in making money I know a lot of people that think that it's wrong to make money teaching online yes some people think it's wrong it's okay to make money teaching face to face but teaching online is wrong Okay, Thomas, are you one of those people who thinks that teaching online or charging money is wrong? <laughs> why? That's a good question, Fabiana. Maybe Thomas uh, can explain why. There's a whole theory about it. I forget who um, came up with a the theory that uh, teachers have to teach for free or something goes wrong. You cannot be a teacher and charge money because it just makes you corrupt. Yes, a lot of people think that way. Is that correct? Making money is for everybody else, but not for educators. Educators are supposed to do everything for free. <laughs> All right. Like social workers are not supposed to get paid for for what they do either. <laughs> you do. Well, I do too, actually. I also teach for almost free. All right, so uh, maybe we can get thumbs up. Anybody teach here for free? I know I do. Anyone else teach for free? All right, we're going to be discussing, and I'm going to have another class this week on attitudes teachers attitudes Dave contributing and giving a worthwhile recouping expenses and also acceptable only you Nelly <laughs> oh, God. right well you know you you can do some things for free and charge for others pro bono all right so are you guys ready okay so these are two books the one on the left is my research study on teaching online and how gratifying it is and I just found out that one of my dear friends um, whom I interviewed one of the people that I interviewed um, for the uh, the research and the book is not allowed to use blogs in her university anymore she was using blogs for years she's an English teacher I'm not going to tell you the country but it's in South America and her university has asked her to stop using blogs as a way to teach. Okay, so uh, the book is about uh, instructor experiences with uh, implementing technology and blended learning courses. The one on the right is Connecting Online, and it's teachers' uh, experiences with teaching online. Most teachers that I know who teach online are very, very happy. Uh, because it's very empowering and a great way to learn. All right, um, here is the um, Google Drive. What you're going to do is this. You're going to fill in this form. You're going to add a full name of a course that you're going to give. You are going to give your name, so add your name as the teacher, Description of the course. Now, this is your first plunge. So, if you're embarrassed and 
you don't want to add your name that's not good because you're going to have to be able to recruit students and the only way to recruit is to get your name out there so don't be embarrassed a description of the course and the link to the course in addition you're going to and you're not going to do it now because you don't have time but you're going to create a video to promote your course okay so that's uh, five things that you're going to do all right any questions all right so let's go there now I'm gonna screen share take you there it's very easy Okay, so I'm going to screen share here. I'm on a Mac, so Macs make, make you do a lot of things before you screen share. All right, so are you ready? All right, so these are some courses that I have. What I want to show you is once you create courses, you can add the um, courses to your website or your blog. And this is called the widget. Okay, here is a course widget. So what you can do once you create a course is go into the course widget. I don't know if you know about this. So um, you go into the course widget and then you're able to tick off all your courses or, you know, some of your courses. Okay, I'm going to tick off all my courses. Okay, some courses are free and some are paid and some are low cost. I have a course that um, I charge a dollar for. On WizIQ, you can have free courses or courses where you charge money. If you want to charge for your courses, they will be made public and you will get all the help you need to create the course. So as you can see, I've got quite a few courses. Okay, I think I've got them all. And this is the widget. Okay, here's a scroll bar and you can go through the whole thing. All right, and what you do is you copy the code and add it to your blog, okay, in the HTML area. All right, and I've done that. Okay, I've added this to some of my blogs. Okay, so what do we do? How do we create courses? Well, first of all, you have to create a WizIQ account for teachers. And you can get a free premium account if you're going to be using the platform. But if you don't use it, you're going to lose it. Okay, the idea is for you, oh, there I see Ab Ab Sharon. The idea is for you to use it, to teach online and find out how wonderful it is, because it is. All right, so this is what it looks like. This is the left. You have something called courses, live classes, content, and tests. So I'm going to go into create a course. Click on that. And then I'll give the course a title. I can always change this. Remember, what's great about online is that you can always edit and make changes. So I'm going to call this course a demo. All right. And then you can add more information or just create the course and then add information later. But you're going to write subtitle. Well, this you could. You don't have to. And here are explanations. They provide you with explanations on how to do it. So you click on it and it gives you some idea of what to do. You see that? So you can add a subtitle and I'm not going to add a subtitle. And then you might want to add exams. You can get a course image from your library, your desktop, or from WizIQ. You can have the highlights and they give you examples of highlights. Okay. So one highlight might be I don't know, to show people how to do it. Next highlight. Okay, you've got maximum five highlights. And then you can write about the course and they give you an example. And then you will add a promotional video, which you will embed. So you're going to um, upload it to YouTube and then embed it here. 
All right, right now I don't have anything. About the instructor, you can write about yourself. The language, it doesn't have to be in English. It could be in Spanish. Sorry. It could be in any language that you wish. Okay, Spanish. Okay, you decide what language. It could be a few languages. And then you might want to add testimonials or maybe not. I'm going to make it in Spanish and English. I don't know Spanish, but maybe I'll get somebody to do it for me. And then you create this course. And that's it. Now, if you need help, notice there's all this support at the bottom of every WizIQ page. Help, contact support. All right, so use this information. If you want your students to read, start doing it yourself. Now, notice what I have here. I started the course. I can start a discussion with myself, right? Please introduce yourself as soon as I get people. I can invite, enroll new learners by adding their emails. Or I can share it with a widget. There's the widget. Okay, um, what else can I do here? I can add a live class, add content, add tests, and so on. All right. And here is about the course that I have so far, not very much, but I can edit again. Always have the opportunity to edit. And if I want to share the link, I copy it and I'm going to share it with you. All right, this is just a demo course. Maybe you'd like me to change it, tell me what to do. And you can share it, you can like it, tweet it. Uh, well, I shouldn't do this because it's, it's just a demo. Uh, share it on LinkedIn and so on. All right, another thing. Okay, if you go up here, you can edit the course, delete the course. Should I delete it? I'll delete it later. All right, or receive payments. I can add money. All right, but only to public courses, and you may have to get support for this. All right, so let me get back to class, but before I do, let me take you to the um, okay I'll do that later I'm going to take you to the uh, Google Drive okay so let me do that now let's go to the drive all right and I'm going to where is the drive well it's recent recent here it is. All right. So here it is. Courses on WizIQ. I created it just for you. Okay. And I see you're here already. All right. And I see people have started adding. Excellent. Wonderful. You're awesome. All right. So let me go back to class. Stop sharing. Here I am. Stop sharing. All right. And here we are. All right. There's the link to the course that I just created. All right, so very slow. What is slow? Uh, Thomas, don't see anything. You mean you didn't see the screen sharing? Well, you'll be able to see it. WizIQ is coming up with a few improvements. I hope one of them will be the screen sharing feature. It'll happen in October, which is very, very soon, Thomas. So I presume it was too slow for you uh, to be able to see the screen sharing. I saw it, but very, oh, very slow. Was my voice also slow? That must have been interesting. No. <laughs> all right. Okay, it might have been a good idea, though. All right. So, you've all started. There's the link to the course, the demo course that I just started. And we might use that course for questions. So, let's leave that course. You can start uh, in the discussion. Start asking questions about creating courses and anything else. All right, lost the chat. Yes, if you lose the chat, it might be at the bottom left-hand side of your WizIQ page. Okay, of this live virtual happening at the bottom left. What you need to do is pop it up. You'll see a little arrow or just click on it. It'll pop to the center and then you can uh, pop it out to the right. That's right. That's what it's all about. Because you know everything changes. Google Drive has changed. Google keeps adding different things, and it's improving and changing. 
Facebook keeps making changes, but we're not noticing it. We're just kind of going with the flow. Same thing with WizIQ, same thing with other programs. Nothing starts out perfect because, you know, we're asking for more things and technology is dynamic, just like our lives. So I didn't see where I could input. Uh, okay, so let me get that back to you um, and take you there. Okay, here it is. There's the link again. I don't know if you got it. Can somebody uh, provide the link? Because it seems to me... Um, oh, there it is. Okay, I got it. Okay, let me um, get it for John. I may have lost the class, so let me get back into the class in case I lost it. I may have. Won't be the first time that I deleted the class. Okay, there it is. Thank you, Hater. Thank you so much. There it is again. All right. Okay, so everybody has it. All right. So um, you need to get the link, okay, so you can share it and add it. Yes, I'm back. I was always here. <laughs> you'll, you'll see what happened. I'm recording this uh, and I'm going to upload it to YouTube. I'm recording it using Camtasia. So uh, you'll see what happened. Um, because I'm on a Mac, um, there are different things happening in the background. So uh, sometimes when I go elsewhere, I lose the class and then I come back. Hello, Yolanda. How are you? Good to see you. Haven't seen you in a long time. Ah, good question, Uncle Sam. When you save the chat, where does it go? Well, wherever you want to put it, you can paste it anywhere you wish. I, I like to put things on Google Drive. But um, you can put it anywhere. I got to a demo course. Yes, but uh, John, here is the, uh, the form so that you can create your course right now. All right, so um, let me just take you. Here we go. A little bit about uh, WizIQ courses. WizIQ courses can be created for different things. Uh, Jason R. Levine just completed a uh, ELT vocabulary MOOC with over 2,500. Is that correct, Jason, if you're still in the house? 2,500, I believe, maybe more participants. I also created a MOOC, a uh, Google. Last year I created a MOOC and this year I, okay, so we're get, it'll get there, it'll get there. People will keep going in anyways. Uh, mine only has uh, about 2,400, no, 2,300 and something or other, uh, the Moodle MOOC. And last year I created one and I think I only had uh, about 2,000. In any case, I also use the courses for conferences, online conferences. I use the course for a research study. I interviewed some uh, subjects and this was a course on WizIQ. So you can use the course for different things, for conferences, for courses, for um, a MOOCs, and for research studies. Money? What do you need money for? To conduct research? It didn't cost me anything. Sharon, what do you need money for? 
there's no investment you can only make money you don't have to uh, except for the electricity and I guess for your internet oh David oh for your computer yes what you need uh, is to get somebody to buy you a computer Sharon like maybe your school or um, the Ministry of Education or good idea yes um, you know these days they're interested in teachers who use technology so yes um, I don't know what country you're from but yes that's an option oh you want to publish on excellent uh, Willie I don't not sure how to pronounce your name but yes you can also create courses for books that's right and then you can talk about your books by um, scheduling live classes and you don't even have to invite people you can just create a live class and record and then share the recordings there are a lot of things that you can do okay with the courses great idea about books I like that uh, you can also have conferences with your courses and what I'm saying when I say conferences I mean like face-to-face -face meetings uh, that you want to have at work or, or a lot of things that you can do all right so uh, different things uh, with the courses this is how you um, create a course okay you just click on create course which is what you're doing right now and then you have a list of courses and then you can schedule a class inside the course and upload content inside the course or you can spread the content to different courses or add your live class in different courses at the same time does that make sense WizIQ IQ allows you to create one class but add it to different courses so that's uh, that's a savings in time okay the idea of course is for technology to make your life easier not harder and trust me when you learn how technology does make it easier okay um, the whiteboard of course um, is a very very important component of um, the live online class and uh, let's get back okay to um, our work here okay so how many of you uh, have a name added a name just give me a thumbs up if you added a name I can go and check so but you know I trust you how many of you added a full name of course you can change the name excellent okay how many of you have a description of the course you can also change that a link to the course okay so I'm gonna add this here how many have a link okay give me a thumbs up after Thomas excellent you're fast very good Fabiana I'm proud of you and um, John what happened how far did you get Hey, Fa, what happened? Are you st are you work? I do not know how to do that. Uh, not a link, but a name and description. I want a link. Need some time? No, I want the link. You can always edit everything else. I need all this information from you guys. Uh, John, I've got the name and description. Okay, so continue. has a baby oh my gosh can we see the baby oh my gosh a baby we have a baby it's not amazing you would never get this in a face-to-face -face class <laughs> amazing well I could give you uh, the webcam and then um, oh my gosh all right so we need the link okay so let's do this step by step 
Yes. Oh my gosh. I mean, I've had, I've heard of people having cats and dogs on their laps, but babies must be really difficult. How to do the link. All right. Are you ready? I'm going to screen share once again and take you on a tour. Can anyone help, by the way? You know what? Why don't I let you explain? Okay, who can explain how to get the link? Okay, Mohammed wants to know how to get the link. Uh, who would like to explain? Raise your hand and I'll pass on the mic to you. I don't think that Haifa can do it. So how do you get the link? Okay, I see Chief has raised their hands, so maybe that'll work. I only see one hand by Chief. And, oh, Ellen. Hello, Ellen. Ellen also has her hand up. Anybody else? No. Okay, so let me try and give Ellen. I think I'll write some information. And you can write everything later on. I just want the link so that we can follow up and help you out. The demo is going to be a support for questions. Okay, I'm going to try to do something here. Um, because I'm recording this, it's giving me a hard time. Oh, I see why. All right. Uh, Ellen, I'm trying to give you the mic, but it's not working too well. Let me see. Okay, you'll see what's happening with me when you watch this on YouTube. Okay, so Ellen, let me pass on the, uh, the mic to you and see if anybody else, you're the only one on Chief. Chief, it didn't work for some reason. I couldn't get you. Ellen, yours didn't work either. For some reason, the mic is not going through. I don't know why. Nope. It's not accepting. So there could be a problem. All right, let me screen share. Okay, I'm going to screen share and take you through this. But I'm going to check the uh, chat to make sure that there aren't any questions. I cannot give link yet. I have to go out and back in again with another account. Why? Um, you have two accounts, Thomas. How do you get the link? Okay, so let's um, let me take you through the uh, the link tour. Okay, so I'm going to screen share again, and hopefully that'll uh, work. And I hope everybody sees. I think that I'm supposed to stop my. Um, so let me, let me stop the, uh, I think they said it's better if I stop the video. Okay. So I just stopped the video and I'm going to, uh, screen share. Okay. So let me, um, take you to, all right. No, that's not the one. Okay. So I'm going to go home and show you. All right, so these are my courses. Every course has a link. Okay, so let's uh, let's go into one of these. Let's go into demo. I see three of you have joined. Hello, so let's see, David has, and Haifa, good for you. 
and Mohammed. Excellent. All right. So notice here is the copy link. You see? The left is uh, the information, course feed, courseware. Okay. On the right, I can add an announcement and I can share the course. It says share the course. There are different ways of sharing it, Twitter. And then here is the copy. Okay, so I copy there and there's the course. Okay, I can go to my other courses. Okay, let's take another one. Here's the Moodle Moot for 2014. Every course looks the same. There is left, there is center, and there is right. It looks like Moodle because that's what I asked WizIQ to do. Um, WizIQ listens, by the way, so if you have any suggestions, make them. All right? Um, and here is the, the link. Share this course on the right and then copy. And that's how it's done. Okay, uh, I can go to another course. Let me share a course that I do not own. Okay, these are courses. Um, let's see, a course that I do not own. Um, I was looking for Jason's, but I don't see it. Oh, here it is. ELT Techniques Vocabulary. This is not my course. Okay, so notice if I don't own a course, it's the same thing. I have the left, okay, which looks a bit different. The center, and then I have the right. Here's the announcements. Here's Jason. And then share this course. It's on the right. So I copy it. Okay, see? 2,482 J's. I think that some just joined. So let me copy the link. So it doesn't matter whether it's my course or somebody else's course. That's how it's done. Okay, so create a course in your account. How do you do it? You go to home. Home is at the top. And then you go to the left. And then you'll see create course. You click on Create Course on the left. You create your course. You go through the whole process. Let's call this Demo 2. You create the course. Once you create the course, you have a link on the right. Copy it, and that's it. Okay, so it looks simple, I know, because I know what I'm doing. But you'll get it. All right, so uh, let's go back to class. Okay, and I'll stop screen sharing. And here we are. So I see there's a good question that I didn't see. I apologize. Okay, so there's Jason, the link to Jason's course. So he can get 2,500. All right, so let's see. How do I get the link? Anything else here? What am I actually linking to? Your course. You're getting a link to your course. So here you get your full name, the name of your course, your name, description of the course, link to the course, okay? And then, of course, you'll do the promo during the week. So we're going to have a list of the courses. And when you have the promo, you'll add the link to your promo on YouTube. Okay, so Thomas is ready to go. Excellent. Link is done. Perfect. I will do this. No, you do it now. Because if you do it later... It's not going to happen. You can edit your course information. The link will stay the same. Okay, so I want links. All right, let me check if you've got links and who hasn't. Okay, so um, let's go back to, let's go to Thomas. Okay, um, but before we go to Thomas, I want to um, go to the Google drive and see what's happening here. Okay, so let's see. You added yours, John, you added yours to my heading. <laughs> That's okay. And now people don't know what to do. All right, so I'm going to move this. Okay, copy it and move it here. Okay, uh, in a, below. Okay, so I can get the information here. Here it was... Uh, Full name, what was it? Full name of course. Okay, and then it was uh, your full name. 
and then it was um, what was it promo link to the course uh, full name of course I don't remember what this was oh about description right description description of the course okay so that's I that's my heading John okay I kept that as a heading but that's okay um, all right so let's see Fabiana I want to see the link forget about the description you can add this later on but the link okay really important because otherwise uh, we're not going to be able to help one another Jason um, can you get a link going you can always make it public later on uh, let's see uh, Olga Olga we need a name of the course what is this Nelly Deutsch did I add that um, okay Olga and then description of the course and I want a link more important is the link if you don't have a description don't worry just get the link call it what you like you can always edit uh, that's the link who was the man sounds interesting okay so John get a link here John uh, I guess you it's in two places now because you probably realized that you had made a mistake all right but it's never a mistake okay so let's see um, what is this who was the man that's not a course that's a slide share Maifa, I want a link to the course on WizIQ. I don't know who added this. It wasn't me. Uh, this is a live class. It's wrong. Okay, this is not a link to a course. Um, so whoever added my name, um, this is a course. No, it's not. This is a class. It's not a course. So I'm taking it off. Okay, because it's wrong. You should have a link to a course. Okay, not to um, not to a live class. There's a difference between a course and a live class. Even though in normal lives, okay, uh, a class could be a course. So, but we're talking about online. So an online course. Is more than one time sitting okay so very good I see oh you have a link there Thomas excellent okay so this you know how to make it hyperlinked you go up to the top and now it's hyperlinked excellent okay Jason has very good uh, let's see who else here Olga excellent okay and you and you named it in russian that's perfect but that's the wiz iq course you see it has the word course in it excellent very good all right what about the rest of you there are more people here but i don't see you all right so let me go back to class the more you do today the better and i think i just lost you guys okay so I think I just lost you again okay so let me get back to class yep I lost the class again but you'll see this in the recordings oh my gosh all right so let me get back to class Oh, I am in class. okay I uh, okay I'm back I was here all the time it's just that uh, because I'm recording I'm uh, 
I'm going all over the place. All right, so I'm back. And um, I think you know what you have to do. Okay, the more you do now, the better. Okay, so we've got um, about 15 minutes to... Oh, very good, Mohammed, you did it. Excellent. Great. And Ahab, you got the link too. Very good. All right, so add those links to the Google Drive, okay, so that we have a collection of everyone's. Okay, um, okay, so add it to the Google, Google Drive where it says link. Very good. You added it to, because this chat, I mean, we could copy and paste this chat, but I prefer to have it on a Google Drive. It makes it easier. Excellent. Okay, great. All right, so are there any questions at this point? I'm looking for the Google Drive link. Um, does anybody have it, or do I have to go out and get it? Because if I go out and get it, I may just, um, okay, let me try to get it. As I said, when you watch the recording on YouTube, you'll see exactly where I'm going, and you're going to be amazed. Okay, so there it is. Okay, there's the, oh, thank you, Fabiana. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. All right, so there's the link. Are there any questions? And I'd love to hear you. Can I please pass on the mic so I can hear you guys? Thomas, you have to uh, get support from WizIQ and have them fix your microphone because um, no link, Fabiana? You have a link. Uh, you don't have a link yet? So you go, you create, when you create your course, you'll have the link on WizIQ, you'll have the link on the right. Soundboard is bad. Okay. But maybe we can help. So Fabiana, okay, do it now because I want to make sure that you have it. Okay, so... Um, Questions, comments, Ellen, I'm going to try to pass on the mic to you because uh, the webcam didn't want to go through. How do you make the link? You don't make the link. WizIQ makes the link. You just finish. when Once you create your course, the link will be available on the right of your page. You have sound, but no voice. I want WizIQ to help you, Thomas, okay? Because uh, we need to hear you. If we can see you, we can hear you. Okay, so um, I'm, I'm going to contact support, and um, I'm not going to give up until I hear you, okay? And I can't do it. <laughs> you have to repair well maybe we can fix help you so go to WizIQ on the left hand side and find and click create a course yes John you go to the left of WizIQ you create a course exactly next and you don't have to write too much because you can always edit um, that will be available so you can add more information but the main idea is to get the link so we can connect on Google Drive and uh, see how things develop. Yes, exactly. That's right, John. But I'd like to hear your voice. Ellen, I don't know why it's not working. But um, anyone whose mic doesn't work, I'm going to give it to everybody. If it doesn't work, uh, please... Oh, Peter is here too. Peter, I haven't heard your voice for a long time. Hello. Hello. How are you? Yes. How are you, Peter? 
there we can even see you just going wrong that was the reason why i joined just now because <laughs> i couldn't connect for some reason i have trouble with my internet connection currently oh you look great you must be mm -hmm. using fantastic what a webcam you're i have a new webcam it's fantastic <laughs> That's really great. it is so clear you look like you're on television yeah, well, I'm on television, yes, and I'm on YouTube too, <laughs> you just told me. <laughs> you will be, yes, that's true, that's true. <laughs> All right, um, that's... So, by the way, sorry for my bad English earlier on. I was a little bit tired. No. And it's not my native language. I know so you did that on <laughs> purpose. <laughs> you did it on purpose so I could work on that. I mean, that I really thought that was great. Okay. <laughs> Okay, well, so let's leave it on that. Uh, I did it on purpose. I yeah. know. <laughs> are you in? Are you in Canada? You're you're in Winnipeg, aren't you? Somewhere. Me? No, I'm in Germany, oh, I, Northern I, Germany, I, rainy Northern Germany. I know you're from Germany, but I thought you you were also in Canada because there's a Peter who's from Germany who lives in Winnipeg. So it's not you. I was in Canada in 84 uh, as a tourist. I went all the way from Toronto to Vancouver and back in 23 days, all on a Greyhound bus. Oh my gosh, your feet must have been swollen. I've never lived in Canada. Oh, okay. <laughs> your feet must have been swollen. <laughs> I just talked about that today. Oh, really? So you see? All right, so I hope, uh, are you going to be teaching German or what, or English? Uh, actually, uh, I used to teach, well, I started out on Skype and the group calls got very bad, the audio quality, mm. so I switched to WizIQ and I did many classes on WizIQ and uh, a couple of months ago, uh, the audio quality got very bad uh, and uh, at that time I had many students from India and they usually have a bad internet connection anyway. So. Uh, I'm currently teaching, well, kind of teaching. I'm not a professional teacher. I do that in my spare time. And it's, it's, it's mainly conversational based. So uh, I'm currently on Google Plus. Uh, and we don't have a lot of trouble. I mean, some people have trouble joining Hangouts and so on. But uh, I experienced, uh, I, I've been to some WizIQ classes currently. And uh, I think the audio quality has uh, improved greatly on WizIQ. So I might be coming back to WizIQ. You know. should, you should. But I'm still a basic member, so I'm kind so of So do you want restricted. premium? Let me know. Just uh, contact me or you can contact support at WizIQ. But, and, and we'll get you premium, of course, of course. I mean, Peter, you're, you're, um, you're an expert on how to teach online. And you don't have to be a teacher, by the way. I mean, everybody's a teacher when it comes mm -hmm. to um, sharing information online. It depends how well you do it. All right, so let's see. Um, be yes, go ahead, Peter, sorry. Uh, because I'm, I'm still very keen on the whiteboard. Excellent. I usually always use a whiteboard. Uh, I like to, to get the, the students active because uh, as uh, they say, if, if you as a teacher talk for something like 10 minutes, <laughs> all the students go into receiving mode. And so to keep them occupied, I usually uh, try to involve them on the whiteboard. Usually it's a bit of a mess, but uh, most of my students are pretty disciplined. So <laughs> it's not too bad. <laughs> right. Well, you'll but, see, you'll uh, hear keeps, the quality. Uh, them active, no? You'll hear the quality of your voice and everything. It was just awesome, awesome. But we're running out of time. Thank you, Peter. And and there's nothing like a whiteboard. And I don't think there's so many disadvantages to the Google Hangout. Uh, I don't want to get into that. But um, the fact that you can't interact on a whiteboard and, and that it's uh, problematic for Mac users. I, I have a lot of problems with the Hangout because it's like Skype. After a while, it just drains out your system and you have to reconnect. At least that's what happens to me with Skype and with, uh, with the Hangout. So let's see, did you say you have to pay for something? No, it's completely free for teachers and students. Unless you charge students, uh, it's going to be free as well. 
So, uh, Peter, I, I wasn't sure whether you said you taught German or not, but uh, I would love to um, speak German. I mean, I have a German name, but I don't really speak it. Okay, so how's everybody doing? Oh, great. Perfect. So I'll join your classes. Any questions? All right, so what I expect, and, and Olga, are you going to be teaching Russian? I don't know if there's a Russian teacher on WizIQ. That would be great. Oh, you are? Wonderful. All right, so add that link, and I'm sure many of us will join your course so we can learn um, Russian. Great, Fabiana, you did it. That's wonderful. So who, who has not been able to um, add their Arabic? Of course. Um, I think there is, I don't know, I think there may be um, a teacher for Arabic. But yes, look how many languages we've got here. We've got Arabic. We've got excellent. So we want that link, Haifa. Arabic, German, Spanish, Russian. Look how many languages, and there are only 12 people. Wow. Uh, Jason, are you going to be teaching French? Maybe you can get your wife to teach French. Or, I don't know, maybe um, that would be great. Lol. <laughs> English and Russian? Okay, fantastic. That makes it Russian for English speakers or Spanish for English speakers. That makes it a lot easier. All right, so I'd like to thank everybody. I think our time is running out. And don't forget to finish this. The link is really important. And I'd like to thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining because you know that students make the classes. Oh, I think, uh, I think we've got Sharon. I think we have you. Sharon? No, you need to fix your mic. Listen, for any of you who are not able to uh, use their mics, please contact support. Support, okay, at wizIQ.com so that they can help you with your mics. Don't be embarrassed. That's what they do. That's their job, and they will help. Thank you. I wonder if your baby fell asleep. <laughs> and Peter's right about 10 minutes. That's enough for teachers to talk. Bye. This will be on YouTube, so look, look for it. I have a new webcam, so I'll hook that up. Great. That would be great, John. I'd love to see and hear you. Wonderful. Bye-bye.